As you can't imagine, so many families have been affected. Let's check in with Six On Your Side reporter Dominic Webster, who spoke with a family on the road to recovery. Nearly four days after the devastating floods here in Cock County, people are continuing to clean up their homes and their neighborhoods as that water left a trail of destruction. I spoke to one family today whose house is being gutted at this point in time due to the high water levels. They live right across the street from the Pigeon River. That's the sound ringing throughout neighborhoods around the Pigeon River. For James and Lauren Gardner, this is happening in their own home. The two leaving before the water got too high. We decided to leave that morning around 10, and we got it. We packed up the truck. We were going to go over to my mother-in-law's there in Knoxville, but uh, we realized that both ends of our street were already flooded, uh, so we decided to stay. And um, we never, we were, never would have imagined this was going to get the way it get as bad as it did. But it did. Homes along a stretch of Highway 73 outside of downtown Newport were left under feet of water. As the water started rushing across the street, the realization of the flood severity started to set in. Our main concern was we don't want to get stuck here because we don't want other staff to risk their lives to come get us. So we were trying to get out as quickly as possible. The gardeners thankful they got out safe and for the help they've received. Even in the midst of tragedy, you know, there's there's uh, there's hope and there's joy and uh, we're just overwhelmed and uh, thankful not only to our community, but also to the Lord for his protection throughout the whole situation and even uh, providing um, many open doors for rebuilding. The gardeners telling me their plan is to stay here and once they finish gutting their home, they plan to rebuild. Reporting in Newport, Dominic Webster 6 on your side.